Hi guys! To prepare for watching Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse this week, we decided to do a bunch of activities that were Spider-Man-like. And that's not to say that if you're not watching Spider-Man at this exact time that you can't do any of these things, so definitely join in even if you're not doing that. But the activity that we're going to do in this video is learning how to be a photojournalist like Peter Parker in the original Spider-Man and uh, the Peter Parker that is from a different universe in Into the Spider-Verse. Um, so if you don't know what a photojournalist is, it's someone who takes pictures to go along with news stories like in the newspaper or in magazines. Um, and Spider-Man or Peter Parker is definitely a very good photojournalist because if he has his camera with him while he's, you know, out saving somebody, he can get the very best pictures of all the action that's happening. And also he can use his powers even just as a regular person to like get up to the top of buildings and take really nice pictures of a huge area and stuff like that. We can't do that because we're all stuck in our houses so we're going to make some pretty silly headlines and prompts for taking pictures and for writing the stories. Um, I have a couple examples. My top three favorites that I wrote were a story called, Will the Laundry Ever Get Folded? And if you were taking a picture for that headline, you might want to get really, really low under a pile of laundry so that it will look like you have this giant mountain of laundry. And then if you wanted to actually write an article about it, you could. If you didn't, I think it's fun to just come up with headlines. Another one that I actually took a silly picture of is local dog afraid of vacuum. And I glued some eyes, or I just taped them on, to my vacuum. And then same thing, I got underneath it. And it looks like the, the vacuum is really big. And it could be scary because it has that red mouth that it's just going to suck the dog right up. And I know that my dog is definitely scared of the vacuum. I'm going to quickly show you two more pictures that I took with some little Lego characters that Kat actually gave to me. The first one is just in front of a puzzle that I have of some succulents. And it looks like he's investigating like a jungle scene. And then the other one is this little robber fox, and it looks like he's behind bars because of this shelf that I had. So if you get up really close with some of the stuff in your house, you can make it look a lot different than it actually is. And right now I'm going to read you the rest of the list of headlines that I came up with. And I was thinking about all of the different things that are in a newspaper. So if you're not sure, what kind of things they talk about in newspapers. You could go online and check out a newspaper and see what kind of categories they have. And if you're interested in certain ones, then try to think of headlines that would match that. So I have one that's just, what's cooking? And you could ask whoever's making dinner what they're making for dinner and you could help out and you can interview them while you're helping to try to find out how the dinner got cooked, what are the ingredients, why did they come up with that? idea for dinner, things like that. Another headline I came up with was, Marker watches Cap fall onto floor, unable to act. Because of course, if a marker cap falls onto the floor, it can't go and get it. So it might have to be dried out and that would be very sad and dramatic for it. Another one I have is interview with an alien. And the alien could just be one of your siblings or a pet and you could make up the answers for your pet or you could have your siblings say really silly things. Another one is boredom snacking rates have skyrocketed in the past two weeks. Because since we're all bored at home, of course, all we want to do is eat snacks. And if your parents are anything like my parents, they are probably saying, you can eat a piece of fruit. Because I know my mom did not want me to just eat snacks all the time. Oh, that's actually my next headline. It says, if you're hungry, have some fruit. Mom sounds like a broken record. And the one after that is, house nearly burns down as dad tries new recipe. So if you have someone in your house who is not the best cook in my house, that was my stepdad, then it might be of concern that they would burn the house down while they were cooking. And you could make it very dramatic, even if nothing that dramatic happened. 
Another one. Is he cheating? Brother won Monopoly for the fourth time today. So if you were playing any sort of game with any sort of people, you could make it sound way more serious than it actually was and turn it into a silly headline. And the last one I have for you is microwave door getting grosser by the day. Because I know I have been microwaving a lot of things now that I've been home and my microwave looks disgusting. And you could take a very fun picture of your microwave door up close and I bet you could make it look really, really gross. And lastly, I just wanted to remind you that if you take interesting pictures in your house or if you write an article about something that's happening in your house and you make it sound really interesting and fun, or if you really just do anything that you wanna share with us, you can send it into Angela, you can email it to her, and she will share it with everyone at Hayhurst Campfire. So I hope you guys are having fun at home, and I hope to see you on one of our online meetings soon. Bye.